You still overthinking what to say to her. You still scared to go up and talk to her. You still focused on what if she say no. You had a crush on this girl all year. And you still ain't said nothing to her. But imagine if you just walked up to her, introduced yourself, asked for a number, and then she gave it to you. See how simple that sounds? But you overcomplicating things. I was scrolling on TikTok and I seen this uh, minorities video. So we gonna, uh, we gonna watch this and we gonna react to it. Because basically, bro, this video is gonna tell you the number one thing that's gonna help you with your conversation with women. So let's go ahead and watch it. Like one of the biggest aspects is, is, is the tonality. Just the way we talking on here, when we talking with the homies, I'm not talking like this with the bitch. Yeah. When it's one-on-one. -on -one. Now I might, when I first initiate, come a little more charismatic. Where you headed? Where the party at? But nigga, once we get in an isolated situation or it's solo or it's, just, it's a more intimate vibe, then that's when the tone, you know, die down a little bit. What's been going on? Where you behind that? It's a whole, I'm not even saying nothing crazy. Yeah. What's up, what you been up to? I ain't seen you in a minute. I'm not saying nothing crazy, but it's the vibe, it's the energy. I'm talking to her with a whole different vibe. So I think, and especially like being like a funny guy growing up, that was one thing niggas just had to learn. Like nigga, cut the funny shit out. Yeah, that shit is cool to start the convo, to build the, just the chemistry, make her feel comfortable enough to nigga get the number or whatever. Oh yeah, I saw you, boom, you kind of higher energy. But once this nigga isolated solo, cut the funny shit out, nigga, you can still have a good sense of humor, but it's like, nigga, it's just that tonality. And I think that's the biggest one is just nigga, nigga calm down, relax, nigga, and just be on some chill shit. Yeah. Like that alone will create a vibe. I ain't seen you in a minute, what you been up to? You gotta know how to create a vibe, bro. The tone of your voice, can just separate you from being this nice guy, or this nervous guy, this this dude who just scared to talk to women, or it can put you in the category of the type of man who is confident in himself, who knows what he's talking about, and who can actually hold a conversation with women. But it's so simple, something so simple as your tone can just make or break what you got going on with a woman when you approach her. And why most men struggle with this tone thing is because they be nervous. You don't have the confidence to approach her anyway. But like, how do you get the confidence anyway to just be like, okay, I see this attractive woman, I'm gonna go up and say something to her. You obviously have to be self-improving in your own life, bro. It's a must. You have to stop neglecting self-improvement, bro. You can't just sit up and overthink all day. What's the perfect thing to say? What What do I need to say to her? Oh uh, man, you steady looking at this girl. You still not going up and saying nothing to her. Them days have to be over with, bro. You gotta work on being more masculine. You gotta work on just talking to women and lowering your voice. You gotta work on talking to women and maintaining eye contact. You gotta learn how to also talk to them. And when you talking to them, slow down your words. It's called masculine frame, bro. It's called having a seductive tone when you talking to women. This is what's gonna separate you from most dudes because most dudes is just, they might be too goofy. They might just be nervous. So they kind of quiet and shy and stuttering. You never know, but you wanna be the dude who just seductive masculine you get what i'm saying that's all you need to do and it's such and it's so simple bro because off the rip if you're not confident in yourself i know you're not going up and talking to girls because you're going to be scared of rejection because you're going to be overthinking those two things that you have to work on yourself to be able to get those two habits out of your system bro you got to be working on yourself because when you're working on yourself you build the confidence up go to the gym start making more money self-improve start listening to audio books read more books you just have to be on your grind doing something beneficial to your life so you're not thinking oh what if she say no and it lower your confidence so you're not thinking oh i'm scared to say something to her i've been looking at her she's beautiful but i'm not gonna go up and say nothing to her you have to work on yourself bro because when you're building up the confidence then you're gonna want to start talking to more girls because if you start hitting the gym getting in more shape and getting in better shape more girls gonna start looking at you when is enough gonna be enough to the point where you start talking to these girls because every girl not gonna approach you dude so if you have to understand that if a girl looking at you giving you some type of choosing signal you find her attractive go up and say something to her you can't be scared forever bro you can't look the part you can't be this in shape dude but you still scared to talk to girls you can't be this dude who got this got that or you know what i'm saying and you just scared bro you can't be scared no more it's time to come out your shell and it's time to stop overthinking because it's about creating that vibe, bro. When you creating that vibe, the tone of your voice can create the vibe. Like when you lowering your voice, holding that eye contact, and you just telling her what it is. It's so simple, bro, because y'all make approaching the girl so so crazy and so so complicated. Like it's just, you gotta have this magic recipe or this perfect pickup line that you say to her. And that's just, not, that's just not the truth, bro. You just walk up to her, introduce yourself, tell her why you walked up to her, ask for her number or give her your number. And that's literally it, bro. 
If she say no, who cares? Just move on. It's millions of girls that you can talk to. Because your tone separates casual conversations versus flirtatious conversations. You know what I'm saying? Because like basically when you're talking with your bros and stuff, you just have a regular tone. You feel me? But when you're talking to a woman, especially a woman that you find attractive, or especially a woman that this is your first time talking to or you're trying to hit, leave a good impression, you want to have a more seductive and masculine tone when you're talking to her. You get what I'm saying? Because it shows experience. It shows charisma. It shows confidence. These type of things turn women on and it makes you more attractive to them. It makes them find you a little more interesting because not every dude is like this. So you're going to stand out to it, bro, because it's not what you say. This is the whole thing about the tone because it's not what you say that matters. It's how you saying it to her. It's how you talking to her. It's how your words make her feel a certain way when you talking to her. It's how you maintain the eye contact while you looking at her, telling her exactly what it is with confidence. Because also when you having conversations with women, whether you on the phone with them or whether you in person, when you having these casual conversations, that's what gets you put in the friend zone. Y'all not talking about nothing. You probably got this goofy vibe. You are, you probably ain't as serious. So you just she just talking to you on the phone like a friend or y'all just in person talking like a friend. But when you got this seductive vibe, this flirtatious vibe, you're getting out of the friend zone type of conversations. You having more sexual conversations, more flirtatious conversations, more serious conversations, more conversations like where he's talking about y'all two doing something. You get what I'm saying? Not even on a sexual level, but just y'all two doing something. You understand what I'm saying, bro? It's just the thing that you talking about makes her more interested in you because it's not just something basic that she can talk about with any other dude. Now we finna break down why women like this because it shows confidence and it shows assertiveness, bro. Assertiveness just mean that you go after what you want. You see a beautiful woman, you want to go up and say something to her, so you do that. If she say no or she got a boyfriend or whatever, it don't matter. Because a woman's supposed to follow you, but you're supposed to lead. So you just go up and say something to her. Now, it's nothing wrong. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. It's nothing wrong with you being the type of man that wants the game to come to you. You want to rely on tools and signals, or you even want women to approach you. It's nothing wrong with that, bro. Because understand this, every dude not going to be out here approaching girls all day, all day. I know that. Some of y'all might have to rely on choosing signals. That just might be your game because you more reserved. Whatever work for you, bro. I'm just saying, when you working on yourself, you gonna get more tools and signals. So at the end of the day, you still can't have a fear of approaching women, controlling your tone, having this masculine frame because you're not gonna get this masculine frame when you ain't talking to no women. So regardless if you approaching them, they approaching you, you gotta have that masculine frame. You gotta be having experience with talking to women, having these seductive conversations. Because most men don't have this in their bag. They want to just text what you doing all day. Or they just want to give it a run around with this nice guy vibe. They ain't really talking about nothing, so they get put in the friend zone. You got to be the dude that's talking about something. Y'all doing something. You get what I'm saying? Y'all finna go on a date. Y'all finna link up. You feel me? You finna pull up on something, bro. Y'all had to be getting straight to the point, but you got to have confidence. It got to be how you talking to her. And another important factor is it shows experience. Because if you confident talking to her, if you got this masculine seductive tone with her of course you didn't use it on other women because this is just who you are at this point so that just shows experience that makes you more attractive to women a woman don't like it when you can't get no other women no other women find you attractive believe it or not bro so that's why you got to be working on yourself because when you're just attractive to women in general that just means that you have experience with them you get what i'm saying so when you have experience it's so that you know what you're doing you know what you're talking about and it's just gonna have that more confident vibe when you're talking to a woman or just interacting with a woman. And this is the most important thing about it, bro, because when you have this masculine tone, when you got this seductive tone and you talking to women, it makes them feel good. It turns them on. It makes them enjoy having conversations with you. Like I said, especially if y'all are taking it to a sexual level or y'all just, you know what I'm saying, finna get something going, you know what I'm saying? So what's the solution, bro? Because you still scared to talk to girls. You worried about the perfect pickup line. You might be scared of rejection. Whatever the case may be, bro, it doesn't matter. Start going to the gym. Put the chips down. Stop scrolling and sitting on the couch and playing the game all day. Actually go work out. Actually go get some sunlight. You know what I'm saying? Do something beneficial. Read you a book, bro. You feel me? Get you a side hustle going. Get you a job. Do whatever you need to do. Just start doing push-ups in the crib. Just start cutting back on stuff that you just don't need to be doing no more. Stop chasing girls and worrying about why they don't like you and look in the mirror and you'll find your solution. Because you got to get experience, bro. You got to get comfortable talking to girls because you only in this nervous patch scared of rejection all that is because you ain't talked to a lot of girls bro because once you get experience once you get comfortable accepting rejection all this type of stuff not gonna be that big of a deal bro yeah you might see a beautiful girl you might get a little nervous but it's not gonna be to this magnitude that it is right now 
that's why you gotta just be comfortable. Just go up to her, go up to her, you know what I'm saying? Casual conversation, oh, let me shoot my shot at her. Oh, she looking at me, I'm finna go say something to her. You get what I'm saying? These different type of things, you gotta be able to just do what you need to do to get your experience up. But that's why I tell y'all boys, you don't wanna be no girl text buddy. You can't, you can't run no plays like this. You can't do nothing I said in this video, text them. You feel me? So that's why I tell y'all always escalate things. Cause once you get the number, the objective is not text her all day and night. You want to get on the phone with her. You want to get on FaceTime with her. You want to talk about y'all doing something, y'all linking up. The objective ain't to just text all day. You understand what I'm saying? So this is why your conversation game got to be on point. This is why the tone of your voice got to be masculine and seductive because she going to love talking to you. You understand what I'm saying? She ain't going to want to go to sleep at night until she hear your voice. Just think about it, bro. At the beginning of the video, you were scared to go up and talk to her. You were scared of rejection. But now she love the sound of your voice. She got to have a conversation with you. Once you go up and approach these women, you telling them what it is. You holding eye contact. You slowing down your words, you lowering your voice. So these women find you irresistible. You standing out from other dudes. All because you started working on yourself. Now the women make it so easy for you. Now you're not thinking about why she said no. What's the perfect thing to say? Now you just call the girl, tell her what it is. Now you just pull up on her. Now she just pull up on you. Because you got a system in place now. Or now you're in a relationship, but you're not a simp in your relationship. You understand what I'm saying? All because you started working on yourself. All because you stopped listening to that voice in your head that's telling you, what if she say no? What do I need to say to her? I'm still insecure. I'm ugly. You understand what I'm saying, bro? That's all I got for y'all boys, man. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like. Make sure you comment and subscribe. Also, if you want to get more exclusive content, make sure you subscribe to the Patreon. Or if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me, go to the links in the description and you can book your call. Oh, also, y'all boys need to make sure that y'all get on the newsletter, man. All these links are going to be pinned in the comments and in the description. I've been sending a lot of emails out to y'all boys frequently over the past week, week and a half. So y'all need to make sure that y'all getting on the newsletter. It's free. I just send y'all boys daily emails or weekly emails. I just read over those things, let the information sink in, and apply what resonates with you. But yeah, that's all I got for y'all boys, man. I'm gone.